What's up guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to take a look at a cool little detail over here in Paradise Falls. It's actually to do with one of the characters that's here, but anyway. Uh, if you go to Paradise Falls, you can see there's a couple children in the slave pen back here, and you can help them escape. And when we do, there is one slave girl who refuses to leave until we get her friend Rory out. The thing is, her friend Rory is uh, not just a child, so he can't escape so easily. And then eventually we can find him in the box, and when we do, we have a few options to get him out here. Unfortunately, the first two don't usually work out too well, at least if all the slavers are alive. If all the slavers are dead, then it doesn't matter, but you can tell them to be sneaky, but it doesn't usually work. You can tell them to run for it, and usually it's gunned down as well. But if we actually tell him to go on his own, he can actually get out if That's we use the weight mechanic, Toss me out of the which is kind of interesting. Driver. I don't know what Thanks it is about the weight mechanic, asshole. but apparently if an NPC is scripted to head somewhere and you wait, they will automatically go there, while all the other NPCs that are idle will just stand in place. So we're going to wait about six hours here, and as you can see, he just teleports like the Flash. He's just fucking gone. And as you can see, there's no uh, sign of him ever being here. There's no corpse or anything. Nobody's hostile. And that is because he is actually in the loading screen here. Where, uh, where he's uh, transitioning from Paradise Falls to the Wasteland. And as you can see, he doesn't really have anything really? relevant to say, but we're going to do this Don't again here because I'm not sure now. if the slavers out front are going to murder him. So again, we're going to wait and let him teleport wherever he's going. Now we can actually get to the important part of the video. Uh, after a while, eventually, if you get Rory out in one piece, which, as I said, can be hard to do if you want to keep the slavers alive for some reason, you can actually head on up to Moriarty's Saloon and you can find him working here. Hey, talk fast. I hate it when I talk to customers. It's only a matter of time now. He also doesn't have any special dialogue, but as you can see, it is implied that he is now employed at Moriarty's. That's just a cool little uh, RPG detail there. Pretty cool to see that he's uh, gone and done something. Unfortunately, they don't get rid of the slave collar on any of the uh, character models after they've moved on, but it's still a cool little detail there. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, have a good one.